Hi guys, I'm Sean, this is Alyssa, Gus is in our hearts, and this is in our rabbit hole daily. Yeah. And we're back, guys. It's been we a few days, back. but we are back reacting to more of Char Sahib Zadeh. That's right, guys. We've been checking out this movie. We've already yeah. checked out the first three episodes. So this is episode four. Uh, now, I know some of, you, some of you in the comments are saying like, hey, maybe you guys don't need to read everything out. <laughs> um, and I'm not so sure we can do that because one of the uh, big things about mm -hmm. this is we want to learn the history. We want to mm -hmm. learn all the... the uh, I feel like... Definitions no, and... Knowing uh, me, like mm -hmm. what would happen if we didn't do that is I would just ask questions that all of that text would answer for yeah, me, right? Yeah. Like I would be like... Well, like asking, oh, what what, is, what would that mean? And, and then, and you know, it's it's, so it's interesting. Might as well. so I was thinking too, because someone was and our friend put in all this effort and work to absolutely do that up for us. So it's 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 a good thing, and and yeah. um, I think that if we were to watch it again, someone was telling me there's actually an English version on YouTube, so that could be kind of cool. You know, watch oh, the Punjabi dubbed? version, learn about the history oh. through the the text and the 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 notes and yeah. stuff, and then sit back and enjoy the English one where you don't have to read anything yeah so I'm, I'm sort of thinking that might be a process for us thanks for staying tuned guy we hope guys we hope, we you, hope enjoy. you enjoy ah uh, so okay I'm, I'm i'm placing myself where we were it was that the guru the guru had actually uh the shot arrow. an arrow into yeah. the neck of um i guess the general of the mughal empire so um, yeah and then the his army there just yeah ran they're running away scrambled. I know, this is crazy. Okay. Wazir Khan till mila out kya. Us di nazar phir pahadi rajaan te pahi. Wazir Khan ne paigam pe jay. Ke Gobind di taakat nun khatam karan lehi. Asi os de naal hath mila liye. Os zalim de naal sa koi samjota nahi karna chahi da. Khas taur te Gobind de khilaaf. Asi jinniyan ladaiyan ladaiyan. Sanu sab nun muh di khani pahi. फिर भी गोविंद ने कदी भी तोहड़ी किसे दी ज़मीन दे एक टुकड़े ते भी कब्ज़ा नहीं किया ऐ स्विच भी उस ते कोई चाल होगी <laughs> वजीर खान भी परेशान न होंदा ताय पैगाम न पेज दा असी सारे तो अड़ी राय नल चलांगे राजा जमीर चंद can you just briefly summarize because I suck at reading sometimes. I, I, I think that these are perhaps other uh, Mughal or tribal leaders in the area and they're talking about maybe coming together to, uh, you know, form an alliance so that they can but take they were down talking about, Guru, the Guru. They talked about not aligning with, were they talking about Gobin Singh himself? No, I think they I think they were talking about the Some Wazir. Other, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I thought they were talking about the other. They, they are. Like, we don't want to. Yeah, they're they're sort of saying like align with him. Th th yeah, I think what I'm hearing because I don't know any more that than you do, sort of thing. But Wazir Khan. Yeah, I think what they're we saying. We should definitely not align with. Yeah, I, I, they're saying a couple things. I think I think they're mm -hmm. saying, hey, that guy's kind of shady. It would be kind of hard to align with someone like mm -hmm. that. But then on the other hand, they're saying even if we did align with him, Guru Gobind Singh has been knocking us on our butt all the time. They're like, we've it's been, worth it. Yeah, we've like, been like we've been running desperate. away. And uh, secondly, he also yeah. makes the point that oh, okay. Guru Gobind Singh uh, G uh, didn't take over any of his territory when he could have. And so mm -hmm. he made the choice to, uh, I guess, you know, fight a defensive so, war, yeah. but he uh, he didn't take any of the territory. Wazir reached out to these guys. Yeah, he sent a proposal. And so they're hands. figuring that just the mere fact he sent a proposal means he's sweating. Yeah. <laughs> He thinks it's a trap or something. Oh, I think it's just his values. Mm. The kings of the hill states and the Mughals. Okay, so different. Oh. So the fort of Anand Per Sahib was elevated, making it very difficult for the Mughals to attack the Sikhs. Such that even after four battles, the Mughals failed to defeat the Sikhs. Instead, the Mughals resorted to surrounding the fort to cut off the ah, fort's access okay. to suppliers. They had the high ground. All right. Which is supplies. Six months. Wow. Gosh. Wow. They're surrounding them for six months, yeah. trying to snuff them yeah. out. It's a long time. Six months. 
Running out of food. Did he throw the food yeah, away? Like in protest, like yeah, he yeah. was just like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, this yeah. is like not even I've had it. worth it to eat. I'm going to yeah, throw it. I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to find 99 of my uh, compadres yeah. and uh, do something about uh, it from the sounds of it. Guru Sabane, Apne Mata Jinu, Ona Kolpedia. To Hati Guruni, to Hati Benti, Parvan Karlai. Bus is Bedave which lick the O, Kitusi Una de Sikhne. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. Throughout history, during times of conflict, desertion has been punished mm -hmm. with the death penalty. Even during World War One, soldiers who deserted were given a court martial and executed shortly afterwards. So they, it's like if you leave if the you, war, they would you kill you anyway. If anyways. you desert your position in war, wow. it's uh, an off offense that. Leads However, to death. in comparison, Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji allowed his Sikhs to desert him during a siege. What is a siege? siege? Uh, wait, siege. The bad guys are uh, attacking. attacking. You. Oh. Yeah. If they simply stamped their fingerprints on a piece of paper, this is revolutionary. Okay. It would take another 300 years for most developed countries to revoke capital punishment. Yet even today, countries such as the United States of America, China, Iran, etc., have kept capital punishment legal. Mm -hmm. Clearly, Sri Govind uh, Singh Ji took exceptional care of his Singhs and recognized their free will, something that even modern commanders would have trouble recognizing due to their insistence on reinforcing the military's very hierarchical structure. Okay. Wow. That's pretty amazing. That, that is tremendous. So the, but the, is it saying that the states to this day, it, like soldiers who agree, they sign a contract or something like in the military, like well, do they get the pit? They don't get the when, death penalty. When, when he's talking about capital punishment here, he could be talking about Cap just the death penalty in general. And yeah, if you do something yeah. nasty enough in the United States right. of America, you're going to be put to death. Mm -hmm. So, um, and it that might be tied up in the military if you is do that something, what capital yeah. punishment? Means? Yeah, capital punishment is the death penalty. The oh yeah. Okay. okay so right. in general, but but that's places. that's uh you know there's a reason why military commanders have enforced that rule. You don't want to be in a war against the your opponent, and then all of a sudden half your guys are like, oh shit, we better get out of here and turn tail and run. So yeah. I'm very curious to see what happens here with these uh, hundred Sikh uh, individuals. Well, they were gonna starve to death anyways. Well, let's see what like happens. It's like it wasn't. It's not effective. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing but famine and death mm, left. Mm, mm. No. Better to leave it now. Yeah, that's, I agree. Uh. Wow. Oh, well, there's more food now for everyone else because there's not as many people. Oh, wow. They're letting them go. Uh, I think they'll win if they part of the strategy. Well, if you pause it for a second, I think it's part of the strategy there is that either uh, they're going to fight these guys yeah. or they're going to hold them hostage for so long yeah. that they just sort of bleed out of the well, fort and then they can just yeah. walk in. No one's there anymore. It's not strategic to start fighting them now when they have still they have all their numbers like they just started yeah, leaving and, it, and it's like, you know, let them deplete their numbers mm -hmm. and then it's easier to fight, you know, well, keep, Less keep in than mind, 40 too, men than that, that these Mughals understand that these Singh soldiers are tremendous warriors. If they mm -hmm. get into a skirmish with them, they're liable to lose many of their own men. So to let them say, to, to be like, hey, well, they're not attacking us. They're leaving the fort. Just let them go. I can see why they, they did that. Yeah. So even after betraying once, Wazir Khan had the audacity to send another proposal through. Okay, when did he betray? What is it talking about? Oh, Betrayed the proposal? Maybe... Uh, this might be referencing something earlier. Let's mm -hmm. watch. I think we'll pull it together. Guru Sahib nu pagam aya, jis vich Mughal ne apne taram te pahari rajya ne 
गौ माता दी कसम खादी कि जे गुरु साहब केला खाली कर जान कोई उन्हों की हवा वाल भी नहीं चाकेगा ओ जिस पासे जाना चाहन अपने सिंगा oh, so he's making a proposal to him but he's he's totally betrayed these types of yeah, proposals, these proposals like in, in the, the past. past i think that's what the reference <laughs> he is he's not to be trusted for sure ka sakte han guru saab ne is khat nu apne qareebi se okay, hey, here the term core team is referring to the panj pyar literally the five beloved ones yeah those When, Those are those uh those seek individuals who were uh beheaded. Now there are uh, or allegedly beheaded. There's two stories I'm hearing here in the comments. Mm -hmm. One is I'm hearing is that um the men were not beheaded. They went into the the tent and 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 then they came back out again. Um the other thing I've heard is they actually were beheaded. So the tent story they're like <laughs> I had my, you know, opinion about that's you talk about that tent story that yeah. there's like an alternate version where it was like literal they, yeah they actually cut their heads off and then um the guru sort of reattached their heads um i'm trying to remember there was maybe some sort of liquid involved or some sort of nectar or something they obviously where, the, died. where the heads uh well the men came back to life so i've heard two separate uh different takes on that i i can't believe that cuz i don't know Yeah. So that's I've heard the two stories. But Anandpur da Kila. Oh, we didn't yeah, read, we it. read it. Yeah, we got to read it. I'm reading it in my head now. Okay. We got to read it to you as I'll read it here. When Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji on the day of Vaisak he tested the faith of his five devotees by asking for their head. It is these five individuals that at a moment's notice came forward to sacrifice themselves for the guru having passed a test of faith, love and bravery. These five individuals now known as the original Panj How do you say this? Pyare, Pyare. Let's go with that. Initiated into the Kalsa. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, they, they were given, given the following names that represent characteristics that are required to create a righteous rule: Daya, compassion, we saw Singh, this, yeah. Dar Dharam, righteousness, Singh, Himat, bravery, Singh, Mokham, determination, Singh, and Sahib rule slash kingdom, Singh. Guruji even blessed them with the authority to make. Collective decisions that could democratically. Yeah, we might have already read decisions. this one, but it's good to read again. I don't know because <laughs> I do recall this. Yeah, the Kalsa was created by Guruji because there was no force in existence that could defend people from Emperor Aurangzeb's tyrannical rule. So Sikhs initiated into the Kalsa live a life of a saint soldier, an individual who has realized that God is in everyone and is always ready to protect the rights of others. The Kalsa seeks to rid the world of tyranny. Or tyranny is that how you say it? Tyranny. Isn't it pronounced tyranny or tyranny? Either way, there's sometimes and people will pronounce it a little bit different. Injustice by fighting for everyone's food and freedom. This is also why Sikhs have distinct appearance so that people need to easily identify them and reach out to them for help. Oh yeah, that part sounds. Yeah, some of this. Mm -hmm. I feel like the beginning was a bit different. Now, now we're we're learning what it means to be a saint soldier. Now, one of the things that I noticed uh, earlier Sorry, my was my nose is just really itchy. Uh, I get like allergies. That's what's going on there. One of the things that I noticed, remember that the guru wasn't allowed to or didn't allow himself because he could have done it. He just didn't, mm -hmm. didn't it wasn't in his values to um be a the first attacker, right? He would defend himself, but he wasn't going to uh, He wasn't going to be on fire the, the first uh first arrow. Uh, arrow. And so the yeah. uh, so that was interesting. The He's other thing that was told only to me self defense using force righteous righteous battles self defense and yeah. and the one thing that i was reading too in the comments is people were saying that the guru would actually put some gold on the tip of um every arrow spear uh, or every arrow head to the give them something the idea being is that if they died the gold could be used to bury them and to go to their family and if they lived yeah. it could be used to help rehabilitate them and uh help them get back on their feet it's sort of like as uh as peacefully as you can to kill someone <laughs> you're trying to kill someone as peacefully as you possibly well can. because there's there uh, there is something that's uh, yeah anyways i could go it, the thing that i learned throughout um learning about the gurus is you know they didn't always have an army right this yeah. developed over the years and it and it developed for very good reasons yeah. uh and uh all the all the while they're able to maintain their um what would you their faith and their beliefs mm. and their values नहीं फतेह सिंह 
ਅਸੀਂ ਅਖੀਰਲੇ ਦਲ ਦੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਰਾਖੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਜਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਹੁਣ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਡੇਰਾ ਲਗਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਹੀ ਮਿਲਾਂਗੇ ਤੇ ਜੇ ਮਿਲਾ ਨਾ ਆਏ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਹੋਵੋਗੇ ਨਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਮਗਰੇ ਮਗਰੇ ਆ ਜਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਅੱਛਾ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਚਲੋ ਹੁਣ ਵੀਰ ਜੀ ਕੁਟਕੇ ਜੱਫੀ ਪਾਣ ਨੂੰ ਦਿਲ ਕਰਦਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਵੀ no is something going to happen it's like last time they're going to see them vire gale mile ne kaisa milap hoya chup chap roe ta Never to meet again. Uh, and those poor brothers. Mm -hmm. God. Khan sahab, samjhote mutabik guru te unna de singa ne shanti naal kila khali kar deta hai. Main kile di aita sir ch marniya ne. ਮੈਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਸ਼ਿਕਾਰ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਕਿਲੇ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਸੀ ਇੱਛਾ ਤਾਂ ਪੂਰੀ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਹੁਣ ਸੋਚ ਕੀ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਖਾਨ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਧਰਮ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਗਊ ਮਾਤਾ ਦੀ ਕਸਮ ਖਾਦੀ ਏ ਕਸਮ ਸੋ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਨਾਟ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਨਾਟ ਫੋਲੋਇੰਗ ਹਿਸ ਓਨ Yeah, it, yeah, it seems like he's not following his own faith. He's breaking yeah, his he promise. Yeah, he doesn't he's <laughs> swore like pff, no big deal. Jis waqt guru te os de sing kiratpur tappan lagan pichhon di hamla ho dio. He's not playing by the rules. Guru te naal naal ik vi sing junda na re. And like even though he got the fort and they're retreating, yeah, yeah. he still he literally wants them yeah, dead. Yeah, he was once again being treacherous. Or the be, yeah he betrayed them once again yeah yeah totally and there's women and children koi parwa nahi yes assi morcha sambhalde hain par morcha kithe sambhali hai ajit singh ji assi sankde te dushman hazara oh samne do pahadiyan vichcho hazara di ginti us dushman utho ek var nahi nikal sakda aao chalo saath sangat ji guru sahab da adesh hai amrit vele nu vekhde hoya aasa di war de diwan sajaye jaan ਪਈ ਮੋਗਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਹਾਂ ਮੁਗਲਾ ਤੇ ਰਾਜਪੂਤਾਂ ਦਾ ਖੋਰਚੂਨ ਸਾਡੇ ਵੱਲ ਨੂੰ ਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਨਾ ਪ੍ਰਫਲ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਥੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਅਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਦੁਸ਼ਮਣ ਚਲਾਕੀ ਨਾਲ ਕਿਸੇ ਹੋਰ ਰਸਤੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਸਿਰਸਾ ਕਿਨਾਰੇ ਹਮਲਾ ਨਾ ਕਰ ਦੇਵੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਦੇਖ ਲੈਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਚਲੋ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਆਉਣਾ ਪਹਾੜੀ ਤੇ ਖੜੇ ਉਸ ਪੱਥਰ ਨੂੰ ਸੁੱਟ ਕੇ ਰਸਤਾ ਤੱਕ ਕਰੋ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿੱਧਰ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਸਿਰਸਾ ਕਿਨਾਰੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਦੀ ਖਬਰ ਲੈਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਵਾਏ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਹਵ ਵੀ ਸੀਨ ਥਿਸ ਵਨ ਓ ਦਾ ਗ੍ਰੀਟਿੰਗ ਵਾਏ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਆ ਸ਼ੂਰ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਸਾ ਥਿਸ ਸਪੈਸੀਫਿਕ ਵਨ ਦੈਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਲੌਂਗਰ ਕਸ ਵਾਏ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਇਜ਼ ਐਟ ਦਾ ਵਨ we sort of know of more or mm -hmm. just vahe guru ah vahe guru ji ki fateh pai daya singh ji sade adde to zyada singh shaheed ho chuke ne oh man inna martha te bacche ne sirsa da pani chadda ja raha hai tusi inna nu nadi par karana shuru karao te ajit singh nu naal half of the men that's brutal already inna nu is jang cho bar lyana hoega oh my gosh yeah ਇਕ ਵੀ ਮੁਗਲ ਸਿਰਸਾ ਵੱਲ ਨਾ ਜਾ ਪਾਏ। ਉਹ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਹਿਊਜ ਫ੍ਰਿਕਿੰਗ ਬੋਲਡਰ। ਉਹ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਸੀਨ ਥਿਸ ਸੋਰਟ ਆਫ ਮਿਲਟਰੀ ਫਾਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਇਨ ਮਾਰਨ ਵਾਲੀ। ਅਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸਿਰਸਾ ਨਦੀ ਦਾ ਪਾਣੀ ਚੜਦਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ। ਗੁਰੂ ਪਿਤਾ ਨੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਜਲਦੀ ਬੁਲਾਇਆ। ਗੋਡ। Oh my god it's flooding Oh 
ਸਿੰਘਾਂ ਦਾ ਮੋਰਚਾ ਭਾਰੀ ਪੈ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਪਹਾੜੀ ਤੇ ਚੜ ਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਪਿੱਟ ਪਿੱਛੋਂ ਦੀ ਵਾਰ ਕਰੋ ਓ ਮਾਈ ਗੋਸ਼ ਦਾ ਮਦਰ ਦੇਰ ਬਾਈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਪਿੱਟ ਪਿੱਛੋਂ ਵਾਰ ਹੋ ਜਾਏ ਆ An exclamation of victory, Bole, one who says the following, so anyhow, shall be happy and satisfied. We saw that earlier. Mm. You're keeping track of the time, right? Yeah, we got, yeah. I'm getting way, in, way too into this. Mm-hmm. I, I wasn't actually, but kind of was. just anyone who doesn't know our camera shuts off like every 30 minutes it just won't let us film longer than that That's so right. wow she i think she got hit by the tree there oh. Oh. hey you know and oh, he just Jesus oh no they're getting swept up by the river shoot I did not expect things to get this dire for them. This, mm. you know, they've lost a lot of their men. Mm. They've been displaced. Okay, so they're stuck. They can't cross the river. They're not going to cross the river, but they're going to go around, I guess, to the bridge. Just keep following them. Like, yeah, just, yeah. Why can't they just leave them alone? Mm-hmm. Fateful four. Delhi. ਮਰਜੀ <laughs> <laughs> The fateful four is at the four brothers yeah. it's referring to right Unhone intezar kita hovega par khatra dekhte hue shayad Delhi wal nu tur pe honge jis tarah to Ah they decided that earlier okay Uh Kotla nihang hunde hoye burmajra chalan da hukm hoya Sarsa nadi kair na taundi ta aj itihas kun hor Yeah no kidding Yeah Sahab da parivar kheru kheru ho gaya Yeah Mata ji ਗੰਗੂ ਬ੍ਰਾਹਮਣ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਪਿੰਡ ਖੇੜੀ ਵੱਲ ਨੂੰ ਚੱਲ ਪਏ ਚੌਧਰੀ ਬੁੱਧੂ ਚੰਦ ਨੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੀ ਗੜੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ਰਨ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਉਹ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਵੀ ਇੱਕ ਲੜਾਈ ਲੜ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਸਨ ਗੜੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਉੱਚੀ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਤੇ ਬਣੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਇਹਦੇ ਚਾਰ ਦਰਵਾਜ਼ੇ ਨੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਤਿੰਨ ਦਰਵਾਜ਼ਿਆਂ ਰਾਹੀਂ ਦੁਸ਼ਮਣ ਦਾ ਆਉਣਾ ਮੁਸ਼ਕਲ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਾਮੁਮਕਨ ਹੈ ਕੇਵਲ ਇਸ ਵੱਡੇ ਦਰਵਾਜ਼ੇ ਤੋਂ ਹੀ ਆਇਆ ਜਾ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਇਹਦੇ ਬਾਹਰ ਝਾੜੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਟਿੱਬੇ ਨੇ ਗੜੀ ਦੇ ਹਰ ਪਾਸੇ ਵੱਲ ਸਾਡੀ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਰਹਿਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਇਸ ਦਰਵਾਜ਼ੇ ਵੱਲ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਖਾਸ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਰੱਖਣੀ ਪਵੇਗੀ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਦੁਸ਼ਮਣ ਜੇਕਰ ਹਮਲਾ ਕਰੇਗਾ ਤਾਂ ਇਸ ਪਾਸੇ ਤੋਂ ਹੀ ਕਰੇਗਾ ਹਿੰਮਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਲਾਈਕ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਅ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਫੋਰਟ ਇਨ ਥੈਟ ਵਿਲੇਜ ਔਰ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਪਰ ਹੌਸਲੇ ਤਾਂ ਬੁਲੰਦ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਹਵਾ ਮਾਰਕ ਫੋਰਟ ਦੇ ਟੇਕਨ ਓਵਰ ਹੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਰਸਤੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਹੋਰ ਹਥਿਆਰ ਲੈ ਲੈਤੇ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਸਹੀ ਆਓ ਉੱਪਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਪਿਤਾ ਕੋਲ ਚਲਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਔਰ ਓਕੇ ਦ ਟੂ ਲਿਟਲ ਬ੍ਰਦਰਸ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਕੈਰੀ ਆਰ ਦੇ ਇਨ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਯੂ نو ਆਈ ਆਮ ਨਾਟ ਸੋ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਹੀਅਰ ਆ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਵੀ ਵਰ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਮਦਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਦੇ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਅ ਵਿਲੇਜ ਇਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਕੈਰੀ ਐਂਡ ਮੇਬੀ ਮੇਬੀ ਦੀਸ ਟੂ ਓਲਡਰ ਬ੍ਰਦਰਸ ਆਰ ਪਰਹੈਪਸ ਇਨ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਸੋ ਮੇਬੀ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਸੈਪਰੇਟਡ ਐਟ ਥਿਸ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਦਿਸ ਵੁਡ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਬਲੀ ਬੀ ਅ ਗੁੱਡ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੂ ਰੀਸੈਟ ਦ ਕੈਮਰਾ and uh oh, yeah. thank you guys for for tuning in with us this has been yes. a lot of fun and if you want to make sure to get updated when we upload that next episode then make sure subscribe, to subscribe click the bell choose the all 
like, like comment. It. I thought we were going to do a really short Yeah, episode. there's places love you can you get in touch with us. We love you a whole lot. This is Internet Rebel Daily. I already Bye, guys.